Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring 5e RPG Academy Adventures. If you haven't seen the other parts of this review featuring this setting for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, which is kinda like Harry Potter meets Dungeons and Dragons, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time I am going to give you a tour of the campus, a tour of the facilities. This won't contain spoilers, I am just going to give you a few details concerning the different sites, different areas, zones, etc. So let's get started. There are places such as the cemetery, a gated area filled with mausoleums and obelisks. It exudes a mist that covers every step you take. We also have the academy itself. The most surprising aspect of this castle is the tower that spirals upwards from its center, reaching high into the heavens. A 30-foot tall statue of a sun deity greets you. There's also the teleportation circle. Runes are inscribed in an intricate circle on the ground here. There's also the vault. This glowing chamber is covered in runes, with four walls that glow with a scintillating pattern of light. A couch, desk, and research equipment occupy one corner with magical artifacts in glass cases. An experiment table is in the center of the chamber. Shelves of tomes line the northeastern corner. In the southwestern corner is a lectern with an open book. There are no entrances or exits, just a teleportation circle in the northwest corner. We also have the ossuary. This winding corridor is filled wall to wall with bones. Overhead hangs a chandelier made entirely of bones and the usher coat of arms, all structured out of bones as well. Then we have the Toshung Theater. This room has many seats in rows, a large stage at the far end and curtains concealing a back room. Then there is the Necromanty Classroom. This room is filled with skeletons. There are small stuffed creatures and skeletons in shelves all along the walls, with four humanoid skeletons in each corner representing various species. A large skeletal creature, the subject of that semester's course, hangs overhead. Then we have the Academy Arcanum. This library spans two stories and is filled wall to wall with books. Then there is the Abjudo Dojo. This large dojo features test dummies scattered throughout, with measurements of distance in incremental lines on the floor. Standalone red and white striped targets are on the walls and ceiling. Then there are the vats. These mineral vats, three in all, are fed by streams from the depths beneath Gautus Gautherm. Then we have places such as the Venic Quarters. These diminutive Venics have their quarters here. A shared living space filled with hammocks and comfy nests of blankets curled up in corners. Then we have the headmaster's office. This large office has a desk and a plush chair against one wall, with two seats in front of it. A round table sits in the corner with four chairs around it. Along the walls are paintings of famous dragon battles. Then we have the Great Hall. This rectangular room is three times as long as it is wide and is also higher than it is wide. It is entered through a screened passage at one end, and has windows on one of the long sides, including a large bay window. There is a minstrel's gallery above the screened passage. At the other end of the hall is the dais where the top table is situated. The great hall has the largest fireplaces of the castle, each one large enough to accommodate an adult humanoid. The fireplace has an elaborate overmantle with wood carvings from the grey carvers. Then we have the Great Chamber. This room has a four-posted bed in its center and a fireplace at one end. Tapestries hang on the walls. Then we have the Watchtower. At the height of the tower sits the giant magical crystal that powers and protects Sauberreich. And these are just some of the places that you can find in the campus. There are 83 sites in total. The included maps do a great job showing you where everything is, where the places are located, the objects within the places, and it makes sense with the description. There isn't too much detail when it comes to the contents of each room, but the general layout gives you a good idea of how things are configured within each room. I've said it before in one of the other parts of this review, this is a great adventure site 
and campaign setting overall to play it as a solo or co-op experience without a game master by using a game master emulator, some tables or oracles, perhaps the solo adventuring toolkit or mythic or whatever you like to use, this is going to be perfect for that. So that's the reason why I also kept this spoiler free, so that you can adventure into Sauberreich and discover the secrets within. There are many details concerning each of these places. Some of them are quite mundane and practical, but many others have secrets and areas where students shouldn't wander in, unless they have permission or unless they want to disobey the rules, of course. Thank you for watching this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about playing a student within this academy. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending drive through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.